You know, one of the longest standing tensions that Christians walk in goes back to one of the primary commands that Jesus gave to the church. He tells us that we should be in the world, but not of the world. And I think that's hard because most of us want to go to one end of that spectrum or the other, right? And so some of us, it's really, really easy to be not of the world. And we kind of build this cultural bunker and we only watch Christian music and we only go to Christian concerts and Christian events and church and only homeschool or Christian school our kids. And we do such a good job of being holy and untainted by the world that we end up missing opportunities to take the gospel to people that don't know Christ. But then there's the other end of the spectrum. Sometimes it's really easy for us to be in the world. But when we do that, we are so in the world that we start to become a little bit of the world and we lose a little bit of the distinctiveness that, that we are called to live into in, in terms of how we're holy, right? And so we sacrifice our integrity for the sake of the mission. And anytime we run to one spectrum or the other, we lose obedience to the tension that Christ has called us to live into. Because here's the reality. If we are so worried about being infected by sin that we never talk to people who might not know Christ, we miss the ability to be in the world, right? We don't engage art or business or education or, or entertainment, and, and we just kind of miss out on the opportunity to be a part of what God is doing amongst people that he loves. The flip side of that is we get so concerned about fitting in that we lose the distinctiveness of the gospel and what makes us who we are, which isn't our ability to be the Holy Spirit's PR guy, like he needs that in the first place, right? And, and we get so soaked and the people that we're trying to reach, that we lose the reason we're trying to reach them in the first place. So here's my question this week. How are you gonna walk in the tension between being holy and being culturally relevant? How can you be someone who's holy and set apart that also radically loves the people that God has put around them? What does it look like for you to do that this week and how are you gonna walk in that tension?